Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed a what I eat in a day video for ages, so I thought I would do one of those today. Excuse the state of me, it's actually the end of the day when I'm filming this intro, so I've been filming what I've had to eat throughout the day. It's not particularly exciting, but I just love watching videos like this, so I thought I would share what I eat in a typical day when I'm at home with the kids. It's the Easter holidays. We've actually got lots of my kids' friends coming over to play today, so it'll be a house full of kids, so I'm not gonna be making anything too complicated. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's get going with the video. So I start off the day the same way I start off every day, and that is with coffee. I can't even contemplate eating anything until I've had a cup of coffee in the morning. I make my coffee with the Oatly Barista Edition oat milk and it is just the nicest thing ever. I absolutely love it. And we have Nespresso coffee pods. The Oatly milk makes the milk really foamy, which I like. And today was definitely a two pod morning. It was quite a rough night with Marnie last night. I didn't actually get round to making my breakfast until almost lunchtime today. I was, just wasn't hungry and I had lots to do. So today I'm having porridge. And I make that with half water and half oatly oat milk again. I'm not having a big bowl today because it's always lunchtime and I always top my porridge with fresh raspberries, some maple syrup and my favourite peanut butter which is this Pippinette maple peanut butter. I should really have a smaller spoon than that but I just can't help myself, it's so nice. This is actually my second glass of water of the day so I'm just making sure I keep on top of that. Then for lunch, sometime later, I decided to have some leftovers from last night's dinner. This is actually me trying to recreate a Starbucks recipe. It's basically giant couscous with halloumi cheese, some tender stem broccoli, peppers, red onions and butter beans. It's not exactly the same as the Starbucks one, but it was very delicious all the same. And I'm just having another glass of water with that. Then a couple of hours later, I have my fourth big glass of water before making dinner. So for dinner, we are having one of our favorites, which is chicken katsu curry, using these Iceland chicken breast strips, which are really delicious. And this is actually the best version of the sauce I've ever tried. I'll leave the full recipe for it linked in the description box because it really is good and so simple, but it's basically carrots, onions, garlic, chicken stock, um, I think there's some honey in there, and some soy sauce and curry powder and it's just as close to the Wagamama recipe as I've ever found so if you like katsu curry I would definitely recommend giving it a go. Here it is when it's all finished, I didn't blend it as well as I normally do actually tonight so it looks a bit lumpy. Then I thought I would help the kids out and help them to finish up their Easter eggs because they appear to be struggling and you know I'm a nice mum. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I eat in a typical day. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!